Man, Hulk Hogan could just never let Randy Savage have the goddamn spotlight, could he? I'm Joe Rental with the retro view of WCW Nitro from November 27th, 1995. World War III fallout, and we're on our way to Starcade 1995, and man, it's a good thing that Hulk Hogan was going to be off television for a little bit because he would be suspended for his actions, and, um, you know, in truth... It was because his contract had a limited number of dates and he wanted to go spend time with his family. And hey, he wasn't a champion, so at least there was that. So, uh, commentary addresses the whole Savage title win at World War III, which was pretty goddamn nice because Randy Savage deserved to have a WCW championship run. The problem is they did in a convoluted way so Hogan wouldn't look weak and he could have an out. And that way he could hog Randy Savage's spotlight. Randy Savage was always better, that's why Hulk Hogan had to hog the spotlight from him. And then we get a rematch. We get a couple rematches from uh, World War III, so fuck anybody that ordered the pay-per-view. Johnny B. Bad uh, versus Diamond Dallas Page. And the Diamond Doll was with Johnny B. Bad because Bad had beaten Page the previous night, retained the TV championship, and also won the services of the Diamond Doll. And she was in his corner, but Dallas came down and was offering a bouquet of roses. Hey, you know, I'm sorry. And then he sucker punches Johnny B. Bad and starts beating the shit out of him. Now she's like, well, you know, he has been good to me, even if things haven't been all that great. She's kind of, you know, having a bit of a bit of an internal debate. But then she finds a chain in the uh, bouquet, and she's like, well, what the fuck is this? What's going on? And Dallas a little bit later is like, hey, you know, come on, give, you know, give me the chain, and everything, you know, hey, I, I appreciate you, but please give me the chain. I need, I need, I need the help here. And she gives the chain to Johnny B. Bad, you know, just throws it a little bit far accidentally. And then he hits a loaded punch, one, two, three, and then he's like wondering, what the hell, you know, he doesn't want to win that way. This would lead to Johnny B. Bad actually being gone from the company a few months later, as he didn't, he didn't have anything against her personally, but I, I understand that he didn't really want to work with her, <coughs> which makes sense, um, because he had a wife at the time, um, but honestly, this wasn't that bad of a match, it was a very condensed match compared to their World War Three contest. And then uh, we get, you know, Sting and Luger, you know, controversy, like what, you know, the talk about that. Is Luger actually with the Dungeon of Doom? Is Sting going to turn heel or are they going to, you know, as longtime friends, Sting being the man that got Lex Luger to uh, come back to WCW after convincing Bischoff to give him a chance? You know, without saying that, that's basically the implication. They've been friends for a long goddamn time. Would Sting and Luger form, uh, you know, a superpower tag team? And so Jimmy Hart and Kevin Sullivan are having a great debate and everything. It's like, who was going on with Luger? And some infighting possibly? Well, not quite yet. Jimmy Hart's like, I've always had a plan. You've always uh, known me to be a straight-up guy, and I've always been good to you. So trust me. And he's got a plan. Then we get uh, Cutie Suzuki, Mayumi uh, Ozaki versus Bull Nakano and Akira Hokuto. Basically take the World War III match that they had, condense it into about half the time, but with some pretty good action. All uh, four of these women did get a chance to show up. Hokuto accidentally did do a dive on Bull. That was a little bit, uh, that, that, you know, was a little bit messy. But she would then hit a fucking brutal brain buster. Good fucking grief for the finish. That was really good shit. Now we get Hugh Morris versus Hulk Hogan because Hulk Hogan was worn with the Dungeon of Doom. And they put Hugh Morris, the soon-to-be General Rection, about, you know, four and a half years later. That was something funny. A lot of booze for Hogan. A lot of goddamn booze. Really, a lot of fucking booze. It was actually insane. And eventually, even after kicking out of the low, no laughing matter, uh, leg drop, one, two, three, Hulk Hogan would get the victory. Not the only time we see Hulk Hogan. We get an interview with Randy Savage, new world champion. And he's just talking and everything, because, you know, um, like it or not, I'm the new world champion. Hulk Hogan comes down to show him the tape from World War III. Tape gets cut off. Savage, well, I didn't really see anything. And then the funniest thing is, is a giant man just to blindside Savage or blindside Hogan and then attack Savage, how did the Giant sneak up on anybody? That is the real question. How would he sneak up on anybody? And he choke slams uh, Savage on the floor safely, and then, you know, starts beating up Hulk Hogan. Sting arrives, and then Hogan gets a chair, and starts beating the shit out of the Giant with the chair, and ends up accidentally elbowing the referee, which would lead to the suspension a little bit later, I think on the next episode, or soon after. And that's basically what it was, and... Then we get Luger and Sting versus Pillman and Arn. Really, really eerie that Brian Pillman would be uh, would have passed away two, you know, not even two years after this uh, event. Really, really sad. But a pretty good match um, for TV. Arn and Pillman, of course, working well together. Luger and Sting, their friendship was being tested here because Luger accidentally sent Pillman at one point into Sting while he had Arn in the Scorpion Deathlock, and he didn't mean to. 
So would they fracture? Would their friendship hold up and everything? And eventually they would become tag team champions, I want to say in February of 96. But uh, DQ finish from Flair attacked Luger, and then Hogan makes a save and then announces bullet points and stuff for next week. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ritland. I'll see you soon.